You know, I'm sitting here thinking about invitation songs, uh, songs at the end of a sermon in many churches, where we ask people to come to Jesus, to turn their eyes uh, upon Jesus, to um, to take action and to to seek Him, to come to Him. And it made me wonder: Are we to be merely the seeker, or are we to be the sought? Let's talk about it. You know, the idea of seeking after God, of searching for Him, of going after Him to um, try to find Him, is actually a very biblical principle. Um, So asking someone to, after a sermon, to respond to the gospel, asking them to come to Jesus, to come to the cross, to submit themselves, to turn their eyes upon Jesus, um, is a very biblical thing. You know, know, the Bible tells us, if you seek, you will find. So the idea of seeking is biblical. But that still leaves the question of, are we to be merely seekers? Or are we to also be the sought? And we're going to look at that today. We're going to be actually in 2 Thessalonians. We're going to be in chapter 3, uh, verses 1 through 5. And I'm already there on my phone, so I'll put it on the screen for you. Finally, brothers, pray for us, that the word of the Lord may speed ahead and be honored, as happened among you, and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men. For not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful. He will establish, he will establish you and guard you against the, ev- against the evil one. And we have confidence in the, in the Lord about you, that you are doing and will do the things that we command. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God to the steadfastness of Christ. You know, there's some things that stood out when I read this, especially the last verse, but as I was looking at it again today, um, I noticed actually a bit of a pattern. Um, Four times we have an indication of who's doing the primary acting. That is, who is the primary actor? That is, who's the one doing the action? Well, we have in verse 2, we have that God delivers. In verse 3, we have God establishes, God guards, and in verse 5, God directs. So God is the actor here. He's the one that's the primary here. And so what God showed me when I read this a while back was that, yes, we are to seek after Him. However, we are also to be sought. God does things to guide us. God does things to bring us to Him. God doesn't just say, hey, here I am, come to me. God says, there you are, I will go to you. Here we have God's, God is the one delivering people, establishing, guarding, directing people. God is bringing people to Him. You know, when I read this, I was reminded of the prodigal son story, um, in which at the end of it, the um, prodigal son was coming back home, so he was seeking. But we have the father who drops everything and runs out to his son and then brings his son the rest of the way. We have a picture of God going to his wayward child and bringing that child into the fold. God going out and bringing people in. God desires that we be saved. God desires a relationship with us. He doesn't have to have it, but He wants it. God wants a relationship with you. So the question before us is simply this. We have two options before us. We can be the ones who are delivered. We can be the ones who are established, the ones who are guarded, the ones who are directed. We can be the ones that that follow God's lead. We can be the ones that accept Him and let let Him draw us into Himself and let that relationship flourish and grow. Or we can be like the ones in verse 2. He says, talks about wicked, evil men, for not all have faith. That's the other option. We can be like people who don't have faith who say, nope, sorry God, don't want you, don't need you, leave me alone. I pray that that's not you. I pray that you're the one that says, God, I am seeking after you because God is seeking you. I pray the one that says, God, 
I want you. God, bring me to yourself. I pray that you will let God draw you close to him. I pray that you will let God bring you into a relationship that is beneficial to your life, to your soul, to those around you, because our relationship with Jesus does affect those around us. I pray that you'll let God run out to you and bring you in, direct you, guide you, guard you, help you, strengthen you. Will you let God do that today, tonight, this week? I pray you will. God bless.